Hello and welcome to my lessons Fascination Organ Improvisation. My name is Francis Stoiber. In this video we are going to study and um, practice imitation technique. Here is the hing I used in the opening improvisation. First we are going to harmonize the hymn in a four-part harmony and always a four-part harmony is the base of our improvisation. Here is the four-part harmony. Now we are uh, going to study the choral lines we want to imitate. We are uh, looking at the first choral line, the third, the fifth and the sixth. So let's have a look to the first choral line. This line starts in C major and goes to G major. From C to G. Now we are going uh, to make an imitation and normally the imitation is made with a fifth above. So when we um, imitate this way from C major to G major, so the imitation goes from G to D. But we want to start in C major, so we have to uh, make a tonal correction, so we speak from a tonal answer when we, uh, imit when we start in G, the imitation have to lead back to C. So, um, we imitate a fifth above, but the rest of the tones we have to imitate in a fourth above. The rest of the line have the original shape. So it is um, useful to make the correction um, soon. In the most cases, after the first tone. The third line. We have the same case, the choral line leads from C to G and the uh, answer have to lead from G back to C. So we have another tonal answer. 
not but back to C major Here is the correction. Now let's have a look to the fifth choral line. The choral line uh, stays in the tonal framework C major. So here we have a real imitation. The whole line in G major. Now the sixth line. This line starts with a fifth. Now the link is not very good, so we have to make a tonal correction of the fifth with the upper fourth. And the rest is a real imitation in the fifth above. Now we can make an imitation of the middle voices, tenor and alto, over a basso continuo. This basso continuo is, is the base of our four-part harmony and uh, the last uh, entrance of the theme is in the solo soprano. The imitation transpose our four-part harmony to C major and the last entrance section with a corda one four one one first inversion four in first inversion one so we have three parts the imitation the solo soprano and the corda now the next choral line follows, in this case, the third choral line. same scheme, the base of our four-part harmony and the tenor with the choral line. You hear the modulation from C major to G major. Now the answer, a fifth above. The tonal correction back to C major and the cadence now, of course, in C major. And you can, you, you, we achieve a very smooth link and we stay in the tonal framework. And now we play. 
play the four part harmony. And we are ending with the coda. The next part, the imitation of the fifth choral line. So here we have a real imitation, but look. When the imitation starts, we still stay in C major. And now we modulate to G. We are in, in G. And here with the bass, this passing note F, we are going back to C major. And now the last, the, the sixth choral line. So you will see um, the sense of a real and tonal answer is to achieve a smooth link from uh, one imitation or from one um, imitation to the next and to stay in the tonal um, framework. Now I wish you a lot of success studying the imitation technique. In organ improvisation the imitation technique is very important and um, it can help you to make your improvisations with a good structure. Now in my um, improvisation at the end I will make an imitation in the tenor, alto and soprano and will play a solo in the bass. So I uh, hope you enjoy my video and uh, you will visit my next videos or the other videos I made in the last month and weeks. Bye until to the next video.